in this session we will study the buffer capacity or buffer index of a solution so what is buffer capacity so it is defined as the number of moles of acid it is defined as number of moles of acid or bases that is added to one liter of solution so you take one liter of solution and whatever your moles of acid or bases adding to change the pH by unity, you have to add a zero base such that the pH of the buffer solution will change by unity. Then that is called the buffer capacity. So we can write buffer capacity. This is the beta, and most of a zero base is added to one liter, and change in pH that is by unity. So that is called the buffer capacity. You have to take unity. So what is actually buffer capacity means? Uh, even after, uh, even after adding the AC and base so they reduce the change of pH the pH will be little change or almost no change that is called buffer capacity the maximum capacity of the buffer that is capacity of the buffer so we will see what is the maximum capacity what is the minimum capacity and what is the uh, what is the capacity of the buffer so uh, normally we write uh, beta equal to minus delta C of HA by delta pH so this is for the acid and the, or if you if you are want to add base so on adding base uh, dc of concentration of the base divided by dph so what is uh, delta this n so delta n is the gram equivalent of the strong acid or strong base to change the ph of one liter of buffer solution and what is the change of ph so this is nothing but the ph change caused by addition of strong acid and strong base so Buffer capacity when buffer capacity should be maximum. So when uh, capacity of buffer will be maximum when the concentration of weak acid is equal to its salt. When the concentration both are equal to each other, then the capacity of the buffer is maximum. Maximum means at that point they can absorb maximum H plus of OH and without the changing the pH. So they will absorb more acid or more bases, and pH of the buffer will be remain constant. That is called maximum capacity. This only happens with this condition. When the weak base is concentration of weak acid is equal to the salt or concentration of the weak base is equal to the salt. Means that ratio would be 1 is to 1. So using the Henderson equation, pH is equal to pK plus log of salt by acid. So when the concentration of the both are equal, that is called maximum buffer capacity. And in that case, what will happen? Uh, pH is equal to pK because this is equal to 1. So log 1 means 0. Similarly, uh, for... Uh, if the pH we have to find out then pH is equal to pKb when the concentration of the weak base is equal to concentration of salt. This is the maximum buffer for the basic buffer. This is the maximum buffer for the acidic buffer. So from this condition we have understand that the what are the conditions of the buffer capacity? So when the ratio between the conjugate acid by conjugate base by acid is equal to one, then pH is equal to pK or pH is equal to pKb. This is the maximum buffer capacity condition. And second is the total buffer concentration means that is it will take more acid or base to deplete the 0.5 molarity buffer than 0.05 molarity buffer means it will take more acid means 0.5 molar buffer is uh, in this case higher concentration they will take more uh, acid or base to uh, raise the change and it will 0.05 molar buffer will take uh, less acid or buffer to uh, change the concentration so in general we can say the buffering capacity satisfactory over a range of pK plus or minus. B is the maximum is pK plus 1 and minimum is pK minus. How? So that we will see it. If the ratio between the two concentrations, that is the salt or acid, is 0 0.1. If the ratio between the two concentrations, that is salt by acid, is 0 0.1, that is 1 by 10. Means acid is 10 times and salt is 1 times. And pH drops by 1 unit from pK. So this is pH is pK, this is uh, 1, this is 10 times, means acid is 10 times of salt, then pH is equal to pK minus 1, then it is decreasing by the 1 unit. So this is the condition for the acid. And similarly, if a ratio increases to a value of 10, then the pH increases by 1 unit. 10 means uh, concentration of salt is more than the concentration of the acid. So this increases by 1, so this is log 10 by 1, so if you solve it, it pH is equal to pK plus 1. This means for the HD buffer, pH is equal to pK plus 1. Or for basic buffer, similarly, pOH is equal to pK plus minus 1. So this is the buffer range for the HD buffer. Maximum is plus 1, minimum is pK 
minus 1. So this is called buffer range. Buffer is nothing but the pH range in which the buffer solution can be used. So we can use the buffer maximum is plus 1 minus 1. I mean the buffer capacity has a range of plus 2. This is plus 1 minus 1 means plus 1 to minus 1 to plus 1 means total capacity is a 2. This means when buffer is created, when buffer is created, the pH can be changed by minus 1 by acid. So by acid we can change by 1 and by base we can change plus 1. Before the pH begins to change substantially. After the addition of base, to raise the pH by 1 or more, after the, when you add the base, so what will happen? The pH will change by 1. Why? Because the most of the conjugate acid will depleted. Most of the conjugate acid will be depleted and to try to maintain a constant pH. So the pH will be free to increase faster without the resistance of the conjugate acid. Same goes for the addition of the acid. In the same way for acid is when you, when you add acid, what happens? The conjugate base is used up and pH will drop faster because most of the conjugate base is, has been used up. So this is the explanation of the buffer. Why it is increased by 1, why it is decreased by 1. So here I have drawn one graph. You can see this is the pH. This is the volume of the a strong base. So here. And we are titrating with the weak base. Weak acid to strong base. So when weak acid adds to a strong base, what will happen? So this is the concentration of the strong base will be slightly increasing. So at some point what happens? the concentration of salt and concentration of the weak acid both become equal so this is the buffer region here the bottom happen the concentration of the weak acid is almost equal to concentration of the its salt salt of weak acid or of course salt of we can say strong base so this is the maximum capacity here pH is equal to p k a so this is the buffering capacity so again if you give more volume of a strong base so what will happen it will increase suddenly first but here it will register the change so this is the pH equal to pK value this point you can see here it is little changing so this is the titration of the weak acid with a strong base so in a nutshell we can say what is the buffer range buffer range is defined as the pH range in which a buffer solution can be used or it is very difficult to assign an exact pH range to a buffer solution but it is generally accepted that a buffer can be used when proton donor or a proton acceptor or Hydroxyl donor or acceptor lies within the range of 10 to 0.1. So for a buffer range for acidic buffer, that is pK plus minus 1. If you are taking the basic buffer, that is POH, then it will be pKB plus or minus 1. So for best working buffer, means in this way buffer will be more, so you have to take the concentration of salt is equal to the acid or concentration of salt is equal to the base. The two conditions there where the buffer will be working best. Outside this range of buffer is not equally good to maintain the pH against the addition of acid and base. So this, uh, if you are taking the buffer range can be uh, taken outside this range, but that is not uh, that, that that will not maintain the pH when you add acid or base. So you have to keep all these things in mind while solving the numericals. See some workout examples. The pH of a buffer is 4.745 when uh, 0.01 mole of sodium hydroxide is added to. 1 liter of it, then pH changes to 4.832. So, calculate its buffer capacity. So, what is buffer capacity? That is the beta equal to uh, most change by change in pH. So, most change is 0 0.01 and divide by 4.832 minus 4.745. So, this minus this. So, you will get here this is the buffer capacity of uh, buffer capacity of this buffer which is changing from lower to higher. Let us come to second question. To a solution of acetic acid, a solid sodium acetate is added generally, uh, gradually. So here we are adding sodium acetate slowly to acetic solution. So when x mole of salt is added, when this is added x mole, the pH has a certain value. If y mole of salt is added, the pH this time changes by 0.6 units to the previous pH. When x mole we are adding, we are getting some pH. When y mole we are adding, then we have some y some pH and this minus this will be 0.6. So what is the ratio of x and y and if the solution is diluted after addition of y mole salt what will be the change in pH and given that y should be greater than x. So we have to know 2 pH. So for 2 pH we see because we see here so pH 1 equal to pK plus, 1 pK plus because this will be constant for the weak acid 
and log of x by ac second piece will be pk plus log of y by ac and we know that the concentration of y is greater than cons concentration of x so definitely ph2 will be more ph2 minus ph1 so on solving you will get here uh, log of y log of y by ac into concentration of acid by x so if you cut it you will get log of y by x so this is the change in ph 0.6 log of y by 6 equal to log of y by 6 in, uh, this is equal so log of y by 6 is equal to this is nothing but log of 3.98 so 0.6 is nothing but log 0.3.8 so you see from the log table you will get this value so y by x is equal to 3.98 so x by y equal to 0 0.25 value so there is no change in ph on dilution of water see the next question what is the effect of the ph so adding 0 0.06 mole hcl to 0 0.3 liter of a buffer solution that is 0.25 molar hc2 h3o2 or 0 0.56 molar team sodium c2 h3oh this is some uh, salt this is some acid so in this if you add hcl that is 0 0.06 molar t so what will happen to the effect of ph we have to find the ph and the uh, we have, pk value of the weak acid is 4.74 the pH of the present buffer is how much? That's the pK plus log of salt by acid when you are not adding HCl. So on not adding HCl, what is the pH? pH will be just keep the value of salt this is and this is so you will get answer 5.09. Now when you add what? HCl. So on addition of HCl what will happen? So they will react with the salt. So they will form this acid. Okay, this is weak acid form. So this is a salt, because the initial concentration is 0.56 molarity, this is 0.06 molarity, this will be 0.25 molarity and 0.3 liters. This is given, if I see here, this is the 0.3 liter, so same is here, 0.3 liter. So this is the total uh, moles will be, this is the total moles, okay, this will be your 0, then also the total moles, this is also total moles. So final moles will be after reaction with the acid after the extension this will become zero this become zero so this will be reacting means this is decreased to how much more salt remain this much and this is the our acid 0 0.075 and this will be added so this is a 0 0.081 now we can find the ph so ph will be ph equal to pk plus log of salt by acid so pk that is portion by given and now this salt is 0 0.0 0 0.162 divided by 0. 081 so on solving you will get answer 5.04 so what is the change in pH change pH will be 5.09 so it is already there we are find out so this minus this so this minus this will be 0 0.05 units so this is the change in pH that is initial minus final so pH is dropped by how much 0 0.05 units similarly if you want to find out just uh, practice yourself Suppose you are adding 0 0.06 moles of sodium hydroxide in this solution. So what is the effect of pH in the same solution? So if you solve it, so here if you add HCl, it was dropped by 0 0.05 units. But if you add same amount of sodium hydroxide in the solution, the pH will be, change of pH will be increased by 0 0.05 units. You try to solve it, you will get this answer.